If you've sat through a presentation I've done, I talk about average folks in America. 95% of America does not earn $50,000 a year. Do you guys understand that? Yeah. And if they happen to make 50 grand at a job, what is their take home on that? 35. About 35. Divide 35 by 12. $3,000 a month sets that person free. Yet if I said to you, hey, join the home-based business and make $3,000 a month, 95% of people go, that's not worth my time. <laughs> I don't understand it. I, I don't want to say people are stupid. I think they're just programmed wrong. Yeah. Yeah. But you'll go, does anyone here work a job where they have a commute in the morning? I'm not making fun. I'm asking honestly. Raise your hand if you commute in the morning. Do you enjoy your commute? Raise your hand if you wake up to an alarm clock in the morning. <laughs> ever. Do you ever have to get up to an alarm clock? Today. This morning. Today. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. So here's my question. How many of you would rather wake up when you were done sleeping and not to an alarm clock? Oh. <laughs> it's a choice, right? Yep. It's a choice. These are things that we have to focus on as our reasons why. And if 95% of America could replace their full-time income at a job that they have to go spend 40 or 50 hours a week, have to wake up to an alarm clock, have to go for a commute to and from, and all it took was an extra $3,000 a month in home-based business. Do you guys understand how silly that is? Yeah. But I can't use the number $3,000 because too many people go, ah, there's no money in that. That's not worth it. They have to be freaked out with... $50,000 a month to get their attention. That's how warped we are as a society. You don't make $50,000 a year, but you have to see $50,000 a month to get your attention. Does anyone else see the disconnect besides me? And I'm not guessing at this stuff. I've been doing this stuff for 21 years. And what I try to do is give it to you in bite-sized pieces because three, four, five hundred dollars a month changes your life. Do you guys understand that? Yeah. You can't quit your job with three, four, five hundred dollars a month, but it changes your life. Does anyone know somebody that's gone through a rough patch the last three, four, five years? Yes. Yes. Do you know that over 90% of bankruptcies and foreclosures could have been completely avoided with an extra three hundred dollars a month? Yes. Does anybody think I'm making that up? No. Three hundred dollars a month might as well be a million dollars a month when you're in bankruptcy Absolutely. or facing foreclosure. You need $300, it might as well be $3 million. But if you instead plan before the emergency, right, couldn't you build an extra $300 a month if you really wanted to? Yeah. Like in 50 different, not just our company, there's 50 different companies, we could get you to $300 a month because that's not considered a success by any standard. But $300 a month changes the lives of 90% of America. Our goal? To have tens of thousands of people making three, four, five hundred dollars a month. Did you guys hear what I just said? Yeah. What if we're the company that has 50, 60, 70, 100,000 people making an extra three, four, five hundred dollars a month? What have we done for society? What have we done to impact the economy in this country? Now, here's the trick. Some of you are saying, I don't want three, four, or five hundred dollars a month. <laughs> so here's my question to you. How many of those people do you want in your organization? Wow. See, you don't build your business to 10 grand a month, 20 grand a month, 50 grand a month. You build people to $300 a month, $400 a month, $500 a month. And then you duplicate that person to five more. And then you duplicate those five to 25 more. Do you guys understand that? Yep. And when you now have 25 plus five, 30 plus one, 31 people making three, four, five hundred dollars a month, guess what you're making? A lot more. A ton more than that. Do you guys understand? That's the way the business is meant to be built. <coughs> Nobody talks about it that way because that's work. That's, oh, I have to go to the gym every, you meant every day I have to go to the gym? 
I can't just go once and eat every day, but just go to the gym once. Who thinks that'd be fun, right? Go to the gym once a week, eat all week long, whatever you want. How many guys would sign up for that diet? See, look at you. Oh, yeah, I'm in that one. It, sorry, that's not how the world works. Which is why I love all the fat-burning magic pills. We'll see how honest you guys are, because like billions of them get sold every year. Anybody ever try one? I'm not making fun. Anybody ever try one, seriously? Because it's just like, what if, right? Like, what if some scientist actually did figure it out? It's in there. Do you guys understand they've been doing that for decades? They used to put like tapeworms in capsules in the 50s. You guys never heard that? Back in like the 40s or 50s, they would actually put tapeworms in capsules. You'd eat it and the tapeworm would eat like all the food you ate. And people lost weight, like, it's magic. No, you got a tapeworm. I didn't draw a picture of it, I'm just telling you guys. But, Hey, I'm just telling you guys the truth, and guess what? Whose fault is it? Because you wanted to what? Cut corners. Oh, they told me I had to exercise and watch what I eat. No, I want the pill. Now you guys will think twice next time you see those commercials, won't you? But just understand, there's no shortcuts to success in life, period.